welcome back for another episode um, of Code Catalyst Knowledge. In today's episode, I'm going to uh, look at how to configure notifications and we're going to start our journey in the project settings. As you can see, there is currently no notifications set up. Uh, the built-in possibility for notifications that Code Catalyst offers at the time of recording this uh, video, uh, which is at the beginning of April, is uh, using Slack. Um, so I can choose um, existing already connected Slack spaces here. I can choose new ones. In this case, I'm going to use one that it already exists. I'm going to choose a channel that already exists. So I can get the channel ID from here, which is the details of the actual um, of the actual uh, channel. I'm going to call this .c and then I can decide what notifications I would like to get. Uh, in this case, I'm going to decide to only get succeeded and run. After that, I will now see that notifications have been set up to a specific channel. Now, we're going to go back to the um, project that has the notifications already set up because here I do have a workflow that is actually pretty quick to execute. Uh, the workflow that is pretty quick to execute for me is called um, is called um, run notifications. Um, so I would hope to see that here. So here is the workflow that is called set notifications. I'm going to hit run here. So then it's going to execute the workflow. Um, we will now see that I can uh, look at the run executions here. And we already saw that it transitioned from the workflow source to the notify me stage. But you will see that there's no notification coming in for that transition. So that's a problem um, from my perspective going forward. I would love to see notifications for um, also state transitions, uh, think of a workflow that takes multiple hours. Uh, you might want to see um, how long does the different steps take as part of notification or you even want to see where the actual uh, workflow currently is. So um, the workflow is just going to complete in one or two seconds um, and then we will be able to see uh, the notification in Slack hopefully coming in and telling us that there is a new uh, workflow execution. So here we saw the new notification that actually came in um, from this um, project. So now, um, as you can, as you saw here, there's only a possibility to um, actually see um, notifications on Slack, which is something that I personally don't like. Um, I want to be able to send notifications by email or get notifications by email as well. And that's what we're going to try to set up now. Uh, my approach um, for that is written down in the blog post. Um, I'm going to quickly walk you through. Uh, so what I did is um, I uh, went to Amazon SNS. Um, I created, that, that created an SNS topic. Uh, this SNS topic uh, has a specific name. Uh, in this case, it's the Code Catalyst workflow topic. Um, then I created a Lambda function. Uh, in this case, I decided to go with Python. Uh, this Lambda function uh, receives the message and then uh, sends a message, a publishes a message to this SNS topic. Um, and then I can register any kind of delivery status. So for me, um, what I integrated here was uh, getting a email notification, which is then going to go to this email address. Uh, and this is what I already would have expected now from the last work for execution. But we, before we, um, so let's have a look if I actually got that notification. Okay, we go we back in my emails and now we should hopefully see over here. Yes, there is notification. This notification has some information. Um, as an example, I have the branch name here, uh, the commit ID, and then I'm trying to get information about the workflow name and the status. But as you will see in a second, it's not easy to add more information about the execution of the workflow today. So how did I integrate that uh, in this workflow? Let's have a look on uh, the YAML definition of this. Um, I have decided to uh, use uh, in the stage notify me. I have a Lambda invoke. So I'm invoking the Lambda function that I created. Uh, this is targeted to a specific environment um, and then uh, down here, I have the request payload. Uh, the request payload can now access information that are available in the workflow. So in our example, I can use the branch name. Um, I can use the commit ID. Uh, I could now potentially also use additional information um, like uh, the possibility to uh, use artifact names or version numbers or things like that that have been used here. And then 
I'm targeting to run the func lambda function that I've previously shown you, shown to you. That's it. Uh, with that, you get the possibility to um, actually get uh, all kind of uh, targets set up uh, for notifications. But oh, on the other side, you need to have an AWS account, right? Which is essentially against what Code Catalyst is meant to be. Still, it's the only possibility today to get email notifications from workflow executions. And I hope that the Code Catalyst team changes this pretty soon. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, come back soon. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. Thank you.